Hello everyone, Parmesan Pennies here, and we're doing another little baby mod, companion mod. That's right, this is the Darren Duke Companion by Dingle McDonglick. Oh boy, Dingle McDonglick, that's, that's a little bit, you know, I'm thinking he's saying to dong that dingle. Alright, so Darren Duke is located right up here, Searchlight North Gold Mine, just uh, northeast Camp Searchlight. Here he is, hanging out. Dangling around. Dark Fork Cave. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hey, what you doing? You a little gun there? It says, I feel fine. That's good. If I were you, I would stay clear of that damn cave behind me. I live there. Just a word of advice. I don't take advice. Who are you? I'm Duke. We're gonna keep it at Duke. Now, who the fuck are you? Jeez, Duke. I'm Breach. I'm out chest Breach, but I prefer being called Courier. I don't, but... Huh. Courier. That's a pretty interesting name. Yeah. What are you doing? Some trooper from McCarran told me he had to clear out this cave. I guess it had some documents he needed or whatever. It said he'd pay me if I watched the entrance, so here I am, guarding the entrance. <laughs> is there any way I can help? The dude is either dead or taking his sweet-ass time. From what he told me, the ghouls are finding another entrance into the cave by some means. If you want to help, you can start by closing that entrance. And kill the ghouls in the process. If he's dead, I suppose you'd earn the reward that was meant for me. I can solve your ghoul problem. Why haven't you left if you think he's dead? Because you want your money? I was going to wait a bit longer and head down there myself. But I think that would give me more trouble than it's worth. I was planning on leaving pretty soon anyway. But eh, I don't know. I can do that. Alright. <laughs> Here, those ghouls give you any problems? Take these. Ain't got no home. Three dynamites. Um, quest. Close the entrance that the ghouls are coming from. Kill all the feral ghouls. I ain't got no home. My name's Daryl Duke. Jesus. Oh my god. We got a damn picnic! Damn picnic! Is there a raider in here? Oh, it's just Janet. Oh, it's just Janet. I'm gonna kill you, lady. Whoa, that's there. whoa, that's a big apple. I'm gonna put that apple in my mouth. Watch out! Whoa, 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 whoa! Everyone, chill out. Look, hey, hey, look. I don't know if you celebrate. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yes. Everyone, chill out, lady, lady Jamie Manson. Like oh my God, she's fucking dead. <laughs> Wait, were we supposed to kill you? Oh no. Well, you're dead now. <laughs> Oh, Jamie. Poor little Jamie. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Oh, well. Animus 250. Dark Fork. Whoa. Private John Hickory smokes cheese bacon. Your targets are the old Animus research team out in Dark Fort Cave. We can't allow any of the NCR's adversaries to know what happened in those labs. Thus, you need to download the cache of the cache off of Dr. Manson's terminal. We also have a second entry point in the cave that local feral ghouls have been climbing through. That that needs to be taken care of. Also, I recommend using the explosives that the old research team had in their barracks. Once you have completed your task, return to me with the cache. If you find an unknown chem, make sure to dispose of it. We can't have another trace of it. Colonel Sue. Oh shit. Animus. I know there are holotapes over there. Alright, what does Animus do?
Bloody mass plus three, turbo plus three agility. Oh god. That's pretty intense. Journals! First journal entry, I'm very excited to be continuing. Uh, 2279, research on the top secret assignment, but now with the NCR. They set up a small lab for me and gave me a wall terminal. I'm beginning work tomorrow. NCR sent in two more guards today, not that I need any more. What is the danger they are trying to protect Dark Fork from? The Legion are gone, we kicked their ass out of the Mojave. What I could use as an extra set of hands, the troops are as helpful as a grain of sand. Well, except, except of one of them, Sergeant McLeary is hitting on me, or I hope he is. The moral of this journal entry is, if the NCR would send me assistant, it would be absolutely wonderful. The NCR research facility said it's fine to start talking about the assignment. Animus is what I've decided to call it. Animus is a performance but boosting cam that enhances the user's physical ability in the field. Better reflexes, increased muscle memory, even a boost in morale. It seems to be very effective. Animus seems to be a success with the test group. I fear they may have become addicted to it. The side effects we found increased aggressiveness, less resistance to the sun's direct heat waves, agitated skin. Are they vampires? Infertility. Not all the members of the group are suffering these side effects. More research. I was attacked today testing. I saw them shooting, shoot him down, blood spraying everywhere. I didn't feel empathy for him. I didn't care. I don't want to work on this anymore. I want to die. I want to die. Nine months, 279 days, 6,696 hours. Boo-da-boo. Ba-ba-ba. beep beep boo ba 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 Download requires a blank holotape. Well, I can do that. Blank. Damaged. Damaged. Oh, I thought they had stuff on that. Never mind. Ooh. Bam. Sue said what? General Sue? That's how you say. That's how you say HSU, right? Take the Dark Fork terminal to Colonel Sue. What about? Download cache of the hall tape shows the experimentation of the prototype drug animus on a group of convicts. The convicts were used as control test subjects for the drugs test. The images viewed are pretty sweet. Are there more ghouls? Where's this entrance? I can use my jerry cans. Sergeant McCleary. Sergeant McCleary is dead. Yeah. Groovetron. Stop asking me. <laughs> Did Obscurum change that? I don't know what's going on in this picture. Well, obviously, that's Reagan. Why is there another collar down there? <laughs> okay. Obscure. I, I'm gonna guess Obscurum changed that. Unless Dingle McDonglick really doesn't like Ronald Reagan. <laughs> uh. Alright, we're clear. Ooh. Plenty of explosives that I won't use. Ghoul tunnel. Appears that the ghouls dug this tunnel in order to gain access to the cave. A well planted C4 could be the ticket to collapse tunnel requires one C4. I need the detonator. Did I take the detonator? So I never take the detonators. You arm the C4 and trigger it via detonator. Whoa! Oh! I was standing right on top of it. God. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> you realize C4 cannot end your life. You are invincible.
And guess what? Have you taken care of them ghouls? Oh yeah, can I ask you some questions? The ghouls will no longer be a problem. For what it's worth, good job. Thank you. Here, take these. I have too many supplies and you look like you could use some. Think of them as a reward. These are tampons. What will you do now? Man, I want to ask you questions. What will you do now? I haven't been to the Grubman Goat for a while, so I better start there. I haven't eaten a decent meal in a few weeks, so I could use a Brahmin steak. You should travel with me. Why would I do that? Because it's a Friday. I can talk myself out of any trouble we get in. Judging by the way you stand, you really have nothing else to do. We can make a fortune together. I'm pretty handy with a gun. I know the Mojave like the back of my ass. Never mind. I'm pretty handy. Sure. Is it really that obvious? Okay, let's go. Come on, Darren Dukes. Darren's giving you the prospector friend perk. Prospector friend perk. Prospector friend. Due to Darren's prospecting skills and grand knowledge about the Mojave, you receive a 25 pound boost to your carry weight, plus 15 to your survival skill, and a 10% resistance to poison. Awesome. <gasps> Look, it's, it's got a mustache. It's him. Nice. All right. Yeah, he's with me again. See, Hugh, Hugh said what? Maybe it is Hugh. Hugh said where what? Hugh's a werewolf. Hugh said werewolf time. Duke, Duke, Darren Duke. Biggest man in a suit. Bigger than a big old stand. Darren Duke is a man. Duke, Doik, Leroy Brown. Biggest Duke in the whole damn town. Bigger than a giant dog. He can look through the fog. <laughs> Watching this Al Chess Breach video and he, he butchered Leroy Brown. <laughs> I don't know why, but Darren Duke... That name reminds me of Leroy Brown. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely an obscure. Hey, something I can do for you? I forgot you were a person. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Yes, my it's spaghetti. Oh, thank you. My spaghetti paintings have made things better. You seem calm, giving the things that are bad. How are things? I found the hollow tape. What happened? I don't know. I killed off the ghouls and destroyed their tunnel. Your trooper didn't make it. If I can help in. You? I think you've done enough. Hey, Hugh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How many say <laughs> Yes? What is it? <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, look at that. Something I All right. So, um, happy St. Patrick's Day. And, um. Huh? What? Ooh, where are my teeth? I need to put some gear in your back, in your badonka dunk. I suppose I could carry a bit. Mm-hmm. I was just kidding. Uh, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Where are you from? I'm from Seattle. Is that a seagull city? I left when I was 19. I needed some new imagery. There was one vault in the whole city. The vault was given two gecks. What? The gecks covered the city in green in a 10 mile radius. Oh, gecks. The city was also flooded to shit. So imagine people living on top of the many buildings there. That sounds pretty awesome. Where'd you go after Seattle? Also, I thought you meant there were two geckos. Like, people put two geckos in the vault, and I was very confused for a second. I decided to take a trip to Reading. When I arrived, I sought some work as a miner. It had been an NCR mining town and all. When I earned enough caps, I decided to take a trip to Reno. At Reno, I got into a little bit of trouble with the casino. Reno Casino? I'll suck you off if you buy me some chips. I didn't know she was married. Uh-oh. 
I also didn't know her husband was some head manager either. Marino's a shithole. So shit happened. I burned a casino's restaurant down and killed a few of the thugs that worked there. What? I was also banned from ever entering Reno. Why would you do that to Applebee's? Continue listening, trying to hold back the tears of a burned down Applebee's. After Reno, I ended up joining a band of mercs called the Reavers. We were fucking hardcore. We did work mostly for NCR, but sometimes we would get hired by the rich to handle their dirty business. I had to leave the Reavers once they turned the caravan robin. After that, I became a prospector, ended up wandering into the Mojave. Story time is over. No, it is, Darren Duke. It isn't. Should I worry about you? No, I've been taking care of myself long before we met. No, I didn't mean like that. If we happen into some radiation, I will put my helmet on. <laughs> okay. I have ammo for my shotgun. Nice. You only need to worry about yourself, okay? Okay. Tell me about your family. How do you best it? Yeah, yeah, your family, sure. Touchy subject. I'd rather not talk about them. Tell me about your problems. My favorite subject. How do I best use your skills? I would prefer using my lever action shotgun. I have a small knife here for you. I modified it to fit my taste. But if you prefer me using something else, I guess I will work with it. See ya. Alright, so I want to see him put a helmet on. So we're gonna go to Helmet Land. Is this open? Let's go to the Devil's Throat. I can't fast travel from here? Really? Huh. I never knew that. Camp McCarran. Oh, Camp McCarran. That was a great mod that I don't remember. Camp McCarran. Oh, you know what? Nah, never mind, actually. I was gonna give him a bunch of jerry cans, but he probably won't use them. Oh, I can throw the jerry cans down. Jerry can man, Jerry can man, I'm the Jerry can man. Well, who's that looking over the cliff? Is that the man who likes to eat, uh, uh, uh dicks? It's the Jerry can man. What the fuck is going on? Eat the cane, motherfucker. Do cocaine, motherfucker. Learn my name, motherfucker. Call me Bane, motherfucker. Buy me a chain, motherfucker. God! Go insane, motherfucker. Someone shoot the man with the rocket launcher. Oh! Farts in my ass. They're out of it. Oh my god, he's reloading. Frag out! Throw the frag! Oh god! Alright, Jerry Can, it's your time to shine. Jerry! Jerry Can, oh, Jerry, save us, Jerry Can! Damn it. <laughs> oh, you want a fist fight, huh, big boy? Alright. <clears throat> Ow, damn it. <clears throat> Jerry can man. Everything's okay. Stop being dead, everyone. Did you die? Good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this is. Is that a wild wasteland thing? Huh. Alright, anyhow.
fly a plane, motherfucker. <laughs> Call me Jane, motherfucker. That's my Great Dane, motherfucker. Uh, get out of my lane, motherfucker. Looks like it's gonna rain, motherfucker. Ow, didn't mean to do that. I usually do, but not this time. Ow, uh. Put on your helmet. I wanna see that helmet on. Put that helmet on. On this episode of Shit Slingers. You like that? Oh yeah, look at you. Oh man, Robocop. I just accept the radiation, Darren. Do you understand? I just accept it. Alright, there's something else I wanted to do. I forgot, though. First, let's get out of the radiation before I die. <laughs> Should've done that first. Oh! Damn it! Prank! Prank, prank. Damn it. Man, my pranks have been going down lately. Alright. Hey, you took your helmet off. Awesome. Yeah? Who? What? Alright, right, let's go one more place. Bye. Bye. Let's do some more fighting. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I asked... Oh, Jesus. I asked Steve Whoa. if we could do something. He said there's some, uh... Nuka-Cola Protectrons. I love Nuka-Cola, but I can't let this be happen. I think they're trying to burn down Sunset Sarsaparilla plant, so... Sir, you're gonna have to not stand directly in front of me. Oh my god. There we go. Should probably take some cover, Mr. Brahmin. Right, I can't throw grenades anymore. That's a problem. <clears throat> ah, that went real far. Them? Something or someone has been chewing on the coyote tobacco again. <laughs> it's a real concern right now. Listen, Martha, I know these deadly robots just attacked us, but there's some serious coyote dangers going on right now. Oh, no wait, they might be close enough. I want the bat snipe. Yeah, kind of. No, wrong gun. Come on. A little bit closer. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, Jerry. Yeah. Got him. Totally on me. Crank war. Boom. Damn it. Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. I got it. No, we got more of them? Jeez, Steve. The battle rages as the great cinnamon protectrons trudge forward. There we go, now I throw a grenade. Oh, great. Yeah, throw it at... At least they suck at doing their jobs. Wait, dibs. Dibs! You got them. Well, very nice. Not cuddles. Very nice, Darren. Good, good, good work there. We had some fighting going. Huh? Good job, Darren. You hear me? Good job. Bye. All right, everyone. That does it for Darren Duke, companion by Dingle McDonglick. <laughs> very nice little quest in there, and uh, I really, I really enjoyed the uh, voice acting. Voice acting is fantastic. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little extra little mod we reviewed today, and uh, yeah. I shall see you in the future. Oy! Prank war. Yeah, there we go. Right down the slope. Mmm, surfing.